Hey guys, this theme is all about apples, so let's go. Okay, the first activity takes a little bit of setup because you have to set up targets for the children to roll an apple onto. You will set up different points or different shaped targets and the children will take turns rolling apples to see if they can get their apple into a target. Now you can just play it where they roll the apple to see if they can reach the target or you can keep points by putting points in the different targets. The second activity is an apple search game. For this game, you will put apples all around the room. They can be fake apples, paper apples, or even real apples. The children will take turns rolling dice and going and collecting the apple number that is on that dice that they rolled. The first activity is a hide and seek game. You will hide apples around the room and then give the children baskets where they can go and collect the apples. You can do this ahead of time before the children are there or have the children close their eyes while you hide apples. Once the apples are all collected, you can play again or count how many apples and see who the winner of the game is. The second activity is to have red, yellow, and green paper on a table along with many different types of apples. Your child will sort the apples based on their color. If they have more than one color on the skin of the apple, then you can have them sort it based on the color that is more prominent. The first activity is kind of a fun activity and you will need a lot of space. For this activity, you will have maybe a long hallway or a gym, something that's open that the children can roll apples onto. You will have the children roll an apple as far as they can and try to roll their apple the farthest. The second activity is a size sorting game. You will give the children as many different size apples as you can, and the children will sort them either from largest to smallest or smallest to largest. Our first art activity idea is to just paint with an apple. Now this can get a little messy, but kids love to paint with different objects. So they can use the apple to paint by rolling, by painting the top or the bottom, whichever way they wanna paint their picture. I chose to use red, green, and yellow paint because that was the color of apples. The second art project is really fun. It's to create apple people. You will have items that the children can glue on or stick into the apple to make a little apple person. I use pipe cleaners, beads, glue, ribbon, things like that. You could even use markers if that would work, maybe Sharpies, and they can create a little apple person. The first art activity is to paint a paper sack in the shape of an apple. For this paper sack, I stuffed it with paper and then put rubber bands at the top to tie it off and make a stem. Once that's done, the children can paint the bottom part any color they want to make it look like an apple, red, green, or yellow. And then the top part will be painted brown to look like a stem. You will have to cut out a leaf out of green construction paper ahead of time that they can glue on, or if it will not stay, you can staple it onto the bag as well. The next art project idea is a fun one because it's also a snack. For this, I would cut rings of apples and give the children peanut butter or almond butter or any other kind of nut butter if you can't have peanut butter at school, along with chocolate chips or raisins or anything like that that they could decorate their apple with. You could even do sprinkles if you wanted to add a little color. But of course, be careful with allergies with anything that you're feeding your children. In your All right, so let's talk about our reading center. First thing you want to do is pick out apple-themed books to put in your reading center. And then if you have the ability to create some sort of apple tree in maybe the corner of a room for them to sit under while they read their stories. You can easily make a paper apple tree by using brown and green paper and sticking it onto a wall behind the students. Next, for your writing center, you can have paper apples already cut out and then green, yellow, and red paper taped to the wall. Once the child goes into that center, they will color the apple in the color that they want, red, green, or yellow, and then they will take a little bit of tape and tape it beside fine motor skills by coloring the apples and practicing using tape. For your block center, you can place real apples into the block center and have them practice stacking them to see how many apples they can stack on top of each other. It's actually really hard to do and the children will have fun practicing and trying to get those stacks of apples made. For the home center, I would place apples, a little bowl of water, and maybe some towels or washcloths in the home center. They can take the apples and wash them in maybe the sink or just in a little tub or bowl. It also might be fun to have a little plate of apple slices that the children can eat while they're in the home center. Our first idea is to create a sensory box. 
For this box, you will put apples along with other items into the box. The children will have to take turns reaching into the box and trying to find the apple. You can do this with them, or if you have a box where you can cover and let their hand just go in the apple without them seeing what's inside, they could do it on their own. The second idea is to make applesauce in your classroom. Now there are many different recipes online that you could find on how to make applesauce. For this idea, I would do it using a crock pot so that you could use it in your classroom. Now you have to be very careful, make sure the crock pot is out of the reach of the children, but make it with the children, turn it on somewhere safe in the classroom where the children cannot reach it, and then the smells as it's cooking throughout the day will fill your classroom and it'll smell really, really good. And then once it's done, the children can taste test their applesauce that they helped you make. I hope you enjoy those and you can use them in your classroom or at home. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in our next video. Bye.